Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel. As always, thank you so much for being here and clicking on this video. I always appreciate that. We're going to be talking about D23, which took place last night for me here in the UK. And it looks like one of the more central focuses of the event was Captain America Brave New World. There's a lot of stuff to break down in this video regarding that movie. We get a brand new look of the Red Hulk within the trailer that they released at the event. We get a look from the front this time so we can actually see what the Red Hulk looks like. And we get a look at him in motion as well, kind of seeing uh, the president transforming into the Red Hulk towards the end of the trailer. So that's super exciting. Also, we have some more new information regarding Captain America Brave New World. And we have some more information about other MCU properties coming up in the near future as well on the big screen and on Disney+. Plus. So like I said, plenty of stuff to break down here as well, guys. Also, I'm very interested. One of the biggest questions about Captain America Brave New World. How exactly is Captain America going to be fighting the Red Hulk? That's a major question that I have and that other fans have as well. And that's yet to be seen. I mean, he doesn't have any super abilities, kind of like what Steve Rogers does. So how is he going to exactly take on the Red Hulk? That's a big question that a lot of people have in their minds. But anyway, that's enough of me talking. Let's dive into these X posts and let's check out some of that information and some of those screenshots and parts of the trailer from Captain America Brave New World that took place at D23. So starting over here on this first X post, this comes to us from the official Marvel Studios account. So get ready for Captain America Brave New World hashtag D23. And as we can see, we've got a proper screenshot here from the actual event that took place last night and is showing Captain America Brave New World up on the screen. There was over 12,000 people in attendance at the event. So it was pretty extensive. And it looks like this Captain America movie is getting a great marketing push. It looks like it's the start of kind of a new chapter. Going back to that kind of Civil War take, um, Winter Soldier, the kind of the more grounded um, approach to the MCU properties. But yeah, like I said earlier in the video, I am excited to see this. Um, I hope they do a good job with it. Captain America is obviously a staple of the MCU. So let's hope that they can fulfill the shoes that was left by Steve Rogers. It's going to be a tall task, but I'm sure they can do it. So let's move on to the next X post. So over here, uh, this comes to us from Rock'em Socks. <laughs> I, quite, I quite like that username. So Anthony Mackie hits the stage to talk about Captain America, Brave New World, hashtag D23. And again, we get a, uh, a look at the kind of the screen with Captain America, Brave New World. We've got Anthony Mackie on the left. Then we've got the shield on the right and we've got the Hulk's hand kind of grabbing around the shield. We've already seen that kind of logo uh, over the past few months as it was leaked online. On to the next picture. So we have Anthony Mackie here with uh, Kevin Feige, obviously the arbiter of the MCU. They're on stage probably talking about the movie, hyping it up, you know, potentially talking about things where people have, you know, questions about the movies. Uh, kind of fulfilling in that information that people want to know about and obviously they're doing a huge marketing push here The movie comes out in February So, uh, you know, they really want to hype this movie and uh, get people on track with it So that's kind of where we are uh, for those two posts on to the third one here So this is where it gets really juicy and interesting. So this comes to us from zero Red Hulk looks amazing hashtag D23. So this is where we get our official look at um not official i shouldn't say official because it's a leaked um leaked footage so it's not official so do excuse me on that but yeah anyway so this is the red hulk this is a great look from the front and uh it's only nine seconds long and uh hopefully i don't get copyright strike so let's play this footage quickly so yeah guys there we go that's our first proper look at Harrison Ford's Red Hulk there and I mean like I said I mean I'm looking forward to the Red Hulk I mean a lot of people have really been looking forward to a Red Hulk but seeing the Red Hulk on screen I have to admit CGI looks a little bit crazy it looks a little bit weird to me seeing a huge red monster the human brain kind of processes that in a strange way and it doesn't always work out that kind of uncanny valley uh, CGI prospect and uh, I'm sure it'll look great and I'm sure it'll be great within the movie. But um, this small clip here kind of um, looks a little bit janky to me. But then again, we are watching it off a, off a camera filming the screen. So actually seeing it on screen myself, it may look a lot better. 
So uh, let's move on to the next post here, which comes to us from Reddit. So this is the Captain America Brave New World full trailer from D23. So somebody did leak the trailer. Obviously, you've got over 12,000 people in attendance. Somebody's going to pull out their phone. Somebody's going to record it. It's inevitable. Marvel know this is going to happen. Um, I'm sure within the next sort of 24 hours, they'll probably put out this trailer themselves in high definition um, because they don't want their first look being this kind of um, leaked version of the trailer, if you like. I'm not going to play the trailer for copyright reasons, but what we will do, we can scan through it quickly, have a quick look, uh, see what we can find out, and uh, let's just go through it quickly. So we've got Anthony Mackie in the car, then we've got uh, Giancarlo Esposito's character. I'm going to have to quickly look it up. Bear with me one second. I've got this here. So we've got Captain America Brave New World characters here. So um, he's going to be playing Sidewinder, it says here. Giancarlo Esposito. Um, Seth Volkir, uh, Sidewinder. So uh, Sidewinder is a skilled businessman and was able to build the Serpent Society into a highly successful criminal organization. So yeah, I'm a casual fan here, guys. I don't pretend to know everything there is to know about this movie. I haven't read the comics. Um, so it's interesting to see this character here that Giancarlo is playing. This guy is incredible as an actor, so I know he's going to bring the heat. He's fantastic in everything he's in, especially in the Boys series. If you haven't seen him in that, do check it out. So, uh, Sidewinder, he's obviously attacking Anthony Mackie. We get an explosion here at the White House, so that's going to be interesting to see what's going on with this attack at the White House. We get a great shot of Anthony Mackie here as uh, Captain America, and we have these great kind of uh, pink blossom trees behind. Very contrasting looking picture, so it's pretty cool uh, imagery there. Uh, this February. It does come out on Valentine's Day, I believe, so if you have a significant other, you know, you can go and watch a romantic uh, movie here, Captain America. <laughs> so we have Anthony Mackie in the White House. He's going to find uh, Thaddeus Ross. Um, going to speak to him about what's going on. And let's keep skipping through. Again, we get another shot of Anthony Mackie's Captain America here. Um, it does look kind of cool, this imagery, with these kind of uh, blossom trees behind. I think it just looks really cool, the imagery. We get a great fight scene here with Anthony Mackie fighting some guys. Um, I don't know if this is in the White House or somewhere else. I do apologize. I know it's filmed off a screen. It's probably hard to see, so I do apologize. But we have to do the best with what we've got here, unfortunately. Um, let's keep going. Anthony Mackie. Um, yeah, so Anthony Mackie flying around in his uh, wingsuit. It doesn't feel like Captain America to me, I have to admit. Um, so I don't actually see this as Captain America. I still see it as Falcon. Um, it's hard not to after we're so used to him being the Falcon character. Um, and we've got this other character here, which is Falcon. Um, who is this character? Let me just have a look quickly. It is Joaquin Torres or Danny Ramirez. Okay, Joaquin Torres. That's interesting. I didn't know what his name was. So, Fortune uh, favors the bo uh, brave. Again, Thaddeus Ross. Uh, then we get this kind of, almost kind of like a Jesus shot of Anthony Mackie's um, Captain America. Uh, that's what it looks like to me. Almost as if that he's like on a cross. Maybe that's just me, but um, that's kind of what comes to mind in that imagery. And then we get some more fight scenes. We get this kind of satellite radio communication tower here. So it looks like that may play a big part in the movie to some degree. Um, if you guys know what that is. And yeah, this is this is interesting here. So he's in a fight scene and this needle is being stuck towards his face. This, this is the major theory that I have here. So in this part of the movie, I think that unwillingly against his will during this fight scene, he gets injected with the super soldier serum. And I think that towards the end of the movie, before the movie is over, he becomes a super soldier like Steve Rogers. I think that's what's going to happen with this needle here that's pointing in his face. Um, that's just a theory. It may not happen. We just don't know. And then we get that scene of, uh, of uh, Harrison Ford turning into the Red Hulk towards the end of the movie. And we get Captain America here, obviously on the lawn of the White House by the look of it. And the Hulk kind of appears. And then towards the end, we get this kind of look at the Hulk as well at the end here. So yeah, that's the kind of first look of the Hulk's face there. And um, again, very, unca very uncanny valley. Uh, very strange. Uh, let me just play this bit of the footage quickly. So yeah, um, that's kind of where we are with the trailer. It was just a quick rundown, guys. It wasn't majorly in-depth, so I do apologize. But um, yeah, I mean, the Red Hulk looks the business. 
I think this movie is going to be great. I really hope that they can nail the tone, that they can do justice with Sam Wilson as Captain America. Like I say, tall shoes to fill though. Uh, fill in Steve Rogers' shoes there. So, uh, moving on to this from Marvel Studios again. Ironheart, an upcoming original series from Marvel Television. Coming soon at Disney+. Plus. Uh, hashtag D23. So, we got the Ironheart series here. They're obviously talking about it. I don't think they showed a trailer or anything like that from what I've seen. But, um... In my honest opinion, I really don't care for this. It feels like a derivative version of um, of Iron Man, sorry. We've already had Iron Man. Iron Man is the steak, and Ironheart feels like it's kind of like the cheap McDonald's burger. And, uh, you know, why would you settle for the cheap burger when we've already had the steak? <laughs> That's kind of the way I see it. But, yeah, I just, I don't really have much interest in Ironheart. Like, I, I don't really care. If I see some footage and I, you know, watch the first couple of episodes, I'm open to changing my mind. But... I, as of the moment, I really don't have that much interest. I'm not all that excited for it. You guys may feel different. If you do, let me know in the comment section. And then we're on to the final post here, guys, that we're going to look at. Um, this comes from us. I don't know how to pronounce this. Something multiversal. Um, and we have Florence Pugh here. This was a sizzle reel that was showed um, within the event at D23. And it showed us a fresh look at Florence Pugh, obviously coming from the Thunderbolts movie. So, uh, yeah, you know, Florence Pugh here. I mean, she's great. I mean, I can't wait to see her. She's a fantastic actress. And um, I'm sure she's going to kill it within the Thunderbolts. But it's just a screenshot here. Um, like I said, from that sizzle reel. Showing us uh, Florence Pugh in the Thunderbolts. So, um, that's kind of where we are, guys. So, um, yeah, that's kind of all the information there that we've got from D23. And uh, that's kind of everything that we've had to look at. So yeah, guys, that kind of concludes our look there from the D23 event of Captain America Brave New World. And I have to say, there's two kind of nitpicks that I have here about the movie. This is just my thoughts and opinions. You guys may feel a little bit different. So the first one, the CGI on the Red Hulk transformation that we just looked at, I have to admit, even though it's badass, having a Hulk in any MCU project is always a win in my mind. But the CGI on the transformation looked a bit janky. From my perspective you guys may feel a bit different on that but i hope they do touch it up a little bit before the movie comes out that's just my opinion that the cgi looked a little bit strange but then again seeing a giant red monster on screen the human brain is going to kind of process that in a strange way so uh that's kind of my thoughts there anyway but the second thing i don't see sam wilson as captain america that's not a knock on anthony mackie betraying uh captain america but for me personally I don't see Captain America as someone who has a suit with wings that flies around in the sky. To me, that isn't Captain America. That isn't what my brain thinks of when you say Captain America. It's just a nitpick. It's not going to make the movie bad. Um, he could portray the character amazingly. But um, yeah, for me, I just don't envision Captain America as someone with a wingsuit flying around. And uh, just a nitpick. Again, you guys may not agree with me. You guys may have a completely different thought on that. But that's just my two kind of nitpicks with what we've seen so far. Other than that, I am looking forward to this movie and I hope they do a great job with it and knock it out of the park. But yeah, guys, so that's kind of where we are. Drop your thoughts, comments and opinions on kind of everything we've discussed and what we've looked at. Let me know what stood out to you. What were the positives? What were the negatives? What did you think looks good? Or do you just not care about this movie whatsoever? Can't wait to hear what you have to say. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.